Hey guys, and welcome back to Birth by Sleep. In the last episode, we started Aqua Story, and we beat Castle of Dreams. In this episode, we're going to Dwarven Woodland. Again. What was it? Again. I'm gonna guess, Treasures. Treasures! Captain Hook was a bad influence to you. Ahoy, me matey. Now eat my apple. <laughs> Yar. That'd be a weird request for my pirate. Can you imagine her with like a, a, a hook hand and an eye patch? Eat my apple, young lady. <laughs> no. I would. I don't see it. Is it based on the setting or? I don't know. I just don't see it. <laughs> this is what internet safety is for, kids. That's why you don't trust Craigslist. <laughs> You're way too excited about her eating the apple, Eddie. Now I can sell my granny apples store wide. Didn't say he didn't kill anybody. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, nice little detail. A little butterfly there. Yeah. Just a singular butterfly where everything else looks flat. What has happened here? Or Snow White. Uh, three butterflies. She was just as sweet as could be. She sang us pretty songs and made us smile. At bedtime, she told wonderful stories about falling in love with the prince she met. Oh, those and are when boring. we went to work, she gave us all a kiss. She was so full of kindness. Why, she made better folk of all of us. From what you've said, she must have been very loved. But how did this happen to her? The wicked queen was horribly jealous of our dear Snow White's beauty. So she used her evil magic to change into an old hag. Then she gave Snow White a poison apple. And by the time we got here, well, it was just too late. We found the princess as still as can be. Nothing we could do but wake her. Isn't there some way we can help her? Well, you could unlock her heart. Somebody craves the vessel. I'll brave the castle. No, you fools can stay here doing nothing. But I'm not a fear of going, not even to that witch's lair. You'll never make it. The castle's supposed to be guarded by magic and crawling with monsters. Hmm. All right, then I'll go. You will? I will. Leave it to me. Well, all right, my dear. We'd be much obliged. I don't know why, but when that guy was talking, he was like, I'm not afraid of going to the castle. It was like the way he said it, but I was like, I don't know, for some reason in my mind, I just wanted to be like, I'm not a beard of going to that castle. <laughs> I'm not a beard of going up that castle. Oh, wait a minute. That's that usually Doc, you know, that would make that such a mentality. That's I'm terrible. not a beard. I'm afraid of going up to that there castle. I mean, up to that hassle. I mean castle. Anyway. Now we get to run around for a bit. Great. That's what I thought I had like the entire last episode, but I didn't. Yeah. Also, I got cured. As a... Oh, behind the scenes? I just went to the Moogle shop. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Wait, you didn't spend no eight hours in the command deck or whatever again? I know, I'm waiting. Have we uh, ever explained the command deck? We will eventually. Not the command deck, uh... The board game. We will eventually. The command board. Yeah, there we go. It was I like to call it Kingdom Hearts. The board game. I don't know. It's more like Kingdom Hearts Monopoly. Oh, with very little capitalism. I don't know. There's some... Board the parties some more like Monopoly in some degree. Yeah. Uh, my cures are taking forever. I'm surprised you haven't gotten them around to Kiriga by now. I just got them. Oh, you just got them. Okay. I only beat one world. 
But you couldn't level up, you couldn't have two level three Kuras and combine them into Kura. I'm only at level six. I don't know what you want from me. Um, hey. if you use two Kuras. Oh. I expect like everything to level six. Oh, do you? Yeah, in fact, I expect you to like go back as Ventus and then while not using Glide or nothing, just like get Tornado from that one. I bet Kel's going in the place. Okay, I'll get some high jump. No! Ow. Why not? Because that's cheating. That's not cheating! It's cheating! How is that cheating? It's cheating because you can cheat it's much exactly earlier. exactly what the game developers Super intended. Metroid. Cough, yes. Cough. Yes. But if you do it with the intent to break to break the game, then you're cheating. I'm you're not doing it with the intent to break the game. I'm doing it with the intent of getting ex exactly <laughs> as the developers intended. No. As for you, Super Metroid was designed to, to break the game. Not I don't entirely. Want, I don't want to hear it. Yeah, it was. Nice tumble in there. Did the creator say that? Yes, actually. Pull it up, because I don't believe you either. I can, well, like, what's I the best guess, way you can paraphrase it? Like, uh... The design of Super Metroid was in... was... was, uh, da, 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 let's see. Uh, there's, there's been a few interviews at least. Cause Game Break and Free Exploration are two different things. I mean... Well I guess Super Metroid kinda fits in the third one where it's like, uh... Let's Ow. see... Sequence breaking is what I'm trying to say. Sequence breaking. Monsters! Kill them. Oh, I see that word. It just makes me think of that What? I thought it was start off Gorilla with Spell Oh, no. <laughs> it was a completely different song. Now I have two cures level two. Okay. Now I'm not gonna feed them. Why in the have uh, two cures. Use it anytime. Cause you get better stuff if you use them at higher levels. The abilities off of them. I thought the maximum was level three though. It is. Yeah. But you get different abilities depending on if you use them at level two or three. Little tip for you guys out there. Like if you, like if you put if you mail them with an item or something. Right. You'll get different stuff. I would wrong. know this because I spent like forever this knowing castle, these things. It's different somehow. Never but I can't find the princess really. or What is wrong with you? Voice. I never was sh born with green. <laughs> I never saw the purpose sh for me. You mean you know Snow White? Oh yes. We met once. It was a song that drew us together. Has something happened to the princess? Yes. I'm afraid so. The Wicked Queen tricked her into eating a poisoned apple. I must go to her. Where is she? In the woods, guarded by seven kind dwarfs. I will find her. Perhaps there's a way I can help. I'm acting. Yeah, of course you wouldn't have bothered melding items with your commands. You play on normal. But it can okay, get you nifty and... stuff like magic haste, attack haste, once more, second chance. But guys, I'm acting. Okay, Prince Gary Stu. We met just once with a song, but I already know my love. 
but it's it's that one part from the song that they sung in the movie. What? One song. La da 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 da. Well, to be fair, you don't remember the movie as much because you never really watched it as much. I have seen it. How long ago? Forever ago. <laughs> that means I was like a long time. nine or seven or nine. something. I don't know. <laughs> they said I was like five or something. Oh, okay. I was young when I first seen it. Well, I'm just saying the last time I watched it. Oh, the last time. Mm -hmm. pick, oh, poison? That's fine. I think I used to own the movie. I don't know what ever happened to it, though. It was a VHS copy. I believe I'm gonna have misplaced it somewhere a long time ago. But I do remember some of the key note um, moments in the movie. You know, Snow White's death, um, the old hag's death, um, the seven doors. Oh, can't cheat. It's a really nice animation back in the day, too. Uh, I wouldn't know. I don't think I saw it like when it first came out. It came out as far back as 1937. Well, the col the the colored version, because 1937 would have been black and white, right? No, no. Those were just black. I thought back then uh, it was like 1940 or 50 things started going to color on TV. Well, back then most live action films utilize black and white as well as it was the, the 1930s was also the decade where this where the sound era was becoming more prominent uh, than in the sound era back in the 1920s and prior um, Snow White was one of the first animated films to be released for uh, to home theaters I do remember remember one of the first colored films I remember in my knowledge was The Wizard of Oz. Oh, was it really? Yeah. Of, yeah. Yeah, that, I think that was one of the very first colored films, actually. I know it came out in the late 30s, I do know that. Yeah. I think, like, if you, uh, if you watch The Wizard of Oz back, like, right now, uh, you'll notice that, the, that they use a lot of primary colors. There's a bunch of bright colors everywhere. And since it was one of the first colored movies, they wanted to show off all what... They wanted to show off the this whole color gimmick and everything. When it was still a thing. So that's why The Wizard of Oz is way too powerful for its own good. Wizard of Oz? The land of Oz, full of color, not on my watch, my pretty. Yeah. And if you notice, and if you watch the more recent one, just, I think it's just titled Oz. Oh, that one. Yeah, it starts off in, uh, it starts off colorless. It, yeah, in, in standard, second tone. Yeah, in standard definition, no less. And then when you get to Oz, it shifts to widescreen and everything. Just, uh, just... Uh, you know, just... Yeah, pretty much a homage to the original. Well, let me guess, you hate yeah. that movie. I didn't like it, I but... I love that movie. There are some things that... There's some things I like that they did. Some for, things. Yeah, for example, the beginning, where they was like, Hey, remember we did... Remember the whole color thing? Well, we're doing this with the white screen and color and everything than this one. I mean, given the time it was released, I can understand why. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of films nowadays are on white screen. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe they should have waited till like uh, we had like three hologram TVs, and then they should have made all just to show that off. Really? Sure. It's plausible. But I don't see in the foreseeable future as of now. I mean, it's a joke. This is not. We're not gonna have hologram TVs. <laughs> Not in our lifetime. Don't believe him, guys. <laughs> We're not gonna have anything worthwhile in our lifetime, don't worry. 8K television. Oculus Rift? <laughs> We're not gonna have anything <laughs> anything worthwhile for that benefit. Google of Fiber? <laughs> oh my God, let me finish. <laughs> Let me finish. Okay, I'll let you We're not going to have anything worthwhile for the benefit of humanity in our lifetime. I don't know. Internet can be beneficial. 
I mean, we already have internet. Fast internet can be beneficial. You can spread information faster. Yeah, I guess. Allows you to be in conference <laughs> call with top scientists from across the country. I mean, I guess. I'm Wait, like what? half joking. But no, fast internet could be useful. Well, Besides, that... Oculus Rift could lead to that hologram technology. No. <laughs> How do you know? It's not your field of study. It isn't. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Okay. I need fire. I can't wait for the days of the web 4.0. What? Ah, crap, no, I didn't pick up fire. Oh, boy, web 4.0. It's supposed to be prominently better than the first three versions of the internet. Oh, we're gonna walk around web pages. No, nah, that's the world. ah. There's that's a sticker. Far, far away. There's off. yeah. There's a treasure chest up there, but I don't have fire. I mean, that's already a thing. Yeah, the future is now, guys. It's called Janus VR. Look it up. It, they paid me absolutely nothing to say that. Is that that thing you keep going on about? No. When we're on Skype. No. Okay. What we, keep, what we go on on Skype about is the fact that we're still using an advertising botnet of a service called Skype. But we could be using, like, literally anything else. That's what we go on about on Skype. No, that's what you go on about. Yes, that's what I go on about on Skype. I'm perfectly fine with it. And you're content with Microsoft just, what, just royally screwing up your laptop just because. Yeah. I don't see why not. There's a thing. There's a thing uh, called standards. Is there? Yes. Man, I've never heard of it. Oh well. <laughs> no wonder our channel sucks. Something's not right. I know it's missing a throne. I'm a spooky mirror. Hey, there's the zodiac around it. Well, that's kind of nice. Aqua, I want to fight you for no reason. That backflip. How do you backflip that hard? By being amazing. By being a keyblade master. And that. Okay, that's that one part I never really got. Like what? No, originally the reason why he fought, well, Terra was because he was being manipulated by the Whip. Yeah. The Queen. Yeah. Why is he fighting Aqua? I think it's to buy time. Is it? Does he just get so I bored in the so. mirror that whenever he sees somebody, he challenges them into a I battle? just told you what my theory was. I don't think so. It's to buy time so she could run away like a coward. Yeah, and I was elaborating on that theory. Just sits around, waits for somebody. I'm oh man, I wish I could find somebody to fight. <laughs> oh, here's one. Oh, big mistake. <laughs> This seems like a really uninspired boss fight. Um, I mean, rush. I mean, it's a it's a nice idea, but when you think about it, like, how do you pitch this to your fellow employees at Square Enix? It's like, hey, we'll just have this giant floating face oh. just like attack Aqua, and then like there'll be a million more faces, dude. <laughs> well, and then the other employees are probably like. Yeah, there's nothing else in this world. Okay, why not? Well, I don't mind this type of boss fight. Is it that I wish you didn't have to go through this same exact boss yeah. fight again? I think it's just for final purposes. I mean, another reason is it's probably easy. It's probably easy to render on the PSP. Because gotcha. I mean, all it is a face in a 2D background that looks 3D. Actually, no, I'm wrong. They render the they render the face two times, at least. No. They render Whoa. your character two times. One for you and one for the reflection. Oh. Oh, you got inversed. What the heck? Case, you just got unversed. Ah. Ha, ha. Ha, 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 ha. I see you. How you doing, friend? He looks very content for a face in the mirror. 
Yeah. I mean, I, this seems like a good. Oh, okay, I can't say that. Okay. It's always like a boring place to live. I mean, if I lived here, I'd probably attack innocent bystanders too. Oh, that's all that's coming. Wow. Missed you. Don't mind. You're right. There. How you doing, friend? Spellweaver! Get back here! Your face! Literally. Ow. That literally was his face. His face is back here. He freeze. Oh, power! You lose to this fight. I'm not going. Well, let's say like the worst one-liner source. Um, <laughs> 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 um, no, it was actually the game. Um, um. <laughs> Dark magic attack. You sent you here. Well, this was awkward. Oh, it's gone. Oh, nice. oh, okay. Well, that was pointless. My service done. That's why I assume he was trying to buy time. Well, that was pointless. He could have literally just said nothing. As an aqua, I was like, well, there's nothing wrong with this row. Yeah, but then you wouldn't have had your ans question answered. What question? Why did it attack aqua? For his services? Yeah. <laughs> No counterpoint? I'm, no, I'm, I'm just... trying to understand specifically. The... Like, the queen is wait, killed. Wait, hold up, hold up. Aqua told the prince to go to Snow White, right? Shh, shh, shh. No, I want to say this. All that's going to happen on screen is she gets a kiss. Oh, they're awake! Wee! Snow White's done. Oh, it didn't work. And three, two, one, bada boom. Okay, she's awake. Okay, we're done. Stupidest story. It's a fairy tale. What do you expect? I don't care. Well, they seem to care. This is easily one of the most uninspired Disney stories. It was their first movie. I don't care. <laughs> you sound like one of those immature 13 year olds. I'll have you know I'm imitating an immature 15 year old. There's a difference. Shush, shush. Both of you. The, the, the cutscene's already done anyway. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> no. Oh, we got a flashback. Great. Ventus, why won't you wake up? You're awake! Ventus! Oh, it's a miracle! I feel like we've seen this one before. Terra! Master Ericus! Ventus is awake! <laughs> Ericus couldn't be bothered to come.
Does anybody remember the Sorcerer's Apprentice? No. Nobody? Every waking is a new journey. Maybe Vent left because it was his time. You mean that Nicolas Cage movie? Yeah. No, that was terrible. Actually, that was good. I, I didn't like it. I liked it but except for the ending, which is like all this build up for like the past, I think it was like a two and a half hour movie. It's like all this build up for two and a half hours. Okay. You get five minutes for the ending. Go. And it's like, oh, okay. Well, you remember how in the movie Fantasia, um, you had Mickey Mouse be the Sorcerer's Apprentice? No, I never saw that movie. Never seen Fantasia? Nope. Huh. Okay. Well, this is awkward. Okay. What were you gonna say? I actually forgot. Good. That's my secret plan. I mean, what? Anyway, uh, that's it for this episode. There is one more thing I want to throw out in regards to that uh, statement from earlier. Um, originally... Which statement? The Fantasia statement. You know how Mickey Mouse was the apprentice? Originally, no, we just covered I haven't seen the movie. Yeah, but I just wanted to throw it out there that Dopey was originally supposed to be the apprentice. He's Dopey. The okay. One, the one of the dwarves? The one that doesn't talk? Ever? Yeah, I don't remember. Good. You guys suck. <laughs> Disney <laughs> trivia. I don't suck. I just watch good movies. I don't oh, come on. I don't <laughs> watch any <laughs> movies. I watch Snow White. Snow White's terrible. Too bad. Right? Too bad. Anyway, that's it. We'll see you guys in the next episode.